The summer seems to be another summer of Earth destruction movies, and all of these humans seem to live on another planet. But which one? Trace here for D News. Thanks for tuning in. Summer blockbuster season is coming soon with movies destroying Earth left and right. We're talking like every day. We've got Oblivion, After Earth, Elysium, Star Trek Into Darkness, and all of these humans seem to be living in other places. So, does humanity have like a lifeboat planet somewhere that we don't know about? You have likely heard of an exoplanet or extrasolar planet. It's just what it sounds like, a planet that is outside of our solar system. NASA launched the Kepler Space Telescope specifically to look for exoplanets around our galaxy. So far, we have confirmed more than 861 exoplanets, with some of those being in what's called the habitable zone or Goldilocks zone. It's where a planet is far enough from a star not to burn up, but close enough not to be covered in ice. Currently, we know of seven of those. Seven planets we could call home if need be, and here are the top three. These three planets are rocky, they're much larger than our own, which is called a super Earth, and they're capable of supporting liquid water, though we don't actually know if they have any. Number three is Kepler 22b. It is about 600 light years from Earth, so it is way out there, and it's in the constellation Cygnus. 22b is two and a half times the size of our planet and is a 0.75 on the ESI or Earth Similarity Index. The scale goes from zero to one, and over 0.5 means you could support microbial life and over 0.8 means complex life support is possible. So we're coming up a bit short. Somebody's got some splaining to do. Number two is Gliese 667c, a planet in the constellation Scorpius. It's 22 light years away and four and a half times the size of Earth. It's got an ESI of 0.79. It has three, count them, three suns. We could probably call this thing like Tatooine or something, right? But it's closer to the inner edge of the habitable zone, so it's really hot, and maybe we could just call it a summer planet. And the number one planet, other than, you know, this one, to support human life could be Gliese 581d. It's about 20 light years away in the constellation Libra. 581d is 5.6 times more massive than Earth's with an ESI of 0.82. Haha! <laughs> Complex life, all right. So regardless of how we feel about these planets, we cannot get to them, or even really see them directly. The Kepler telescope will use only a few methods to tell if a star has a planet flying around it. It makes it wobble, kind of like when you're holding someone by the arms and spinning them in circles. Now imagine spinning eight planets plus their moons. That's a lot of wobble. They can also see transits, or when a planet crosses in front of a star. The change in brightness indicates the size of the planet, but seeing the actual planet, is impossible. They're way too weak. Would you want to go to these planets knowing that it'd be a lonely, grueling, one-way trip with potentially nothing to see when you get there? Explain your adventures in the comments and keep an eye on our Google Plus page because we have a hangout coming up, y'all. April 23rd, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're all gonna be there, so you should be too. Thanks a lot for tuning in today. I'm Trace. Catch you later.